Okay then, so now we're telling next what pages to build based on this paths thing right here. We also need a way for each of those pages to show the data that we need for it. And to do that, we need to fetch each individual ninja or user separately and pass that into the component as a prop. Now we've already seen how to do this in our ninja index page over here. We use this function, get static props to get some data, which is then returned and pumped into the component as a prop. And we're gonna do the same thing inside this file right here. So let's first of all, create that function and export it, remember. So export const get static props. And we set it equal to an async function like so. So it's in here, we need to get the data for each individual ninja and then return it so it can be pumped in to the component itself. But how do we know the ID of the ninja that we want to get? Because we have to make a fetch request 10 different times to 10 different ninjas. Well, next is gonna run this function for every ninja details page that we need to generate. And it bases that on this paths thing right here. So if we return 10 objects with 10 different IDs in this paths property, it will run this function essentially 10 times. So we can make 10 different fetch requests for different items. Now we get access to the parameter we need each time around on a context object that we automatically accept as an argument in this function. So the ID of each item we need to get is gonna be attached to this context object. So const ID is equal to context.params.id. So basically, we're running this function 10 times because we have 10 items inside this array right here. And each time we get a different ID from the context object. And so we can make a fetch request for each ID below that. So I'm going to say const response is equal to fetch. And we're going to fetch from this endpoint, but we also need to tack on at the end of it a single ID. So forward slash and then plus the ID, which is this thing right here. So that's gonna get one single item for us each time around. And then what we can do is say const data is equal to response or rather await. And by the way, await needs to go in front of fetch right here as well. Await response.json like so. And now we have that, we can return an object with a props property, much like we did inside this component right here. We return an object, it has a props property which is an object and inside that any props you want to pump in to the component so the props that I want are just going to be the single ninja which we retrieve which is the data this is just going to be a single object because we just fetch that one object so now inside here we can destructure that ninja and we can output the details so I'm going to now do the ninja name inside the h1 so we'll say ninja.name and then I'm gonna output a few different properties that come on this object right here when we retrieve it from the endpoint and I'll do each one inside a paragraph tag. So we'll say ninja.email first of all and then I'm gonna duplicate this a couple of times. We'll change this one to website and then finally we'll change this one to address.city. So we have an object called address on this, and then that is an object in itself with various different things. City is one of those things. All right, so fingers crossed, let's hope this works. Let me go out here and click on this. And oops, we get an error. It says, cannot read name of undefined. I'm just gonna try refreshing to see if this works. Yep, we just needed to refresh so that next could run these functions and everything works now. So now if we go to Ninja Listing again and click on one of these things, it should all work. Awesome. So like I said before, the job of next is to build static pages and JS bundles based on our components. And the reason for doing this get static paths property or rather function right here is to first tell next how many HTML pages need to be made based on our data. So next we'll run this function and we'll see this paths property that we return and then it will know how many HTML pages to create based on this. And then for each of those, it will run this function and fetch each item that we need and then we 
put that into the component so it can generate a template for each of these pages. And then eventually it will generate an HTML page for each individual item. Now I'm going to demo that Next can build all this by opening up the console and then coming over here to a new console and I'm going to say npm run and then the build command, just press enter and then inside this Next folder over here, if you open up the server in a second and then go to pages, in a moment you're going to see all of the different pages that it generates and we can see all of these ones right here these are html pages if we open up ninjas we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so it's generated all of those ninja details pages for us so now we have a basic ninja listing website next up i'm going to show you how we can deploy the app to the web